First published 2002. This is the 2003 reprint. Osprey Men at Arms, number 380. German Army Elite Units, 1939 to 1945. Um, the blurb on the back reads, In World War II, a number of German Army units and divisions were classed as elites and were distinguished by special insignia of various kinds. For some, this status was simply a matter of lineage e.g. the Infantry Regiment list, which traced its identity to the Bavarian unit in with, in with which Hitler had served in World War I. Some, like the Grossdeutschland and Panzerlehr divisions, were raised from particularly high-grade personnel. Other titles honoured extraordinary battlefield exploits or heroic sacrifice, like the Brandenburg and Hockland Deutschmeister divisions. This fact-packed introduction to these famous units is illustrated with rare photographs and detailed colour plates. And it is a really good book. What it covers is Grossdeutschland, Feldherrenhall, Infantry Regiment 119 and 9 list, Panzergrenadier Division Brandenburg, Cavalry Regiment 5, Feldmarschall von Mackensen, 44, Reich Grenadier Division, Hocken Deutschmeister, 116th Panzer Division, 21st Panzer Division, 24th Panzer Division, 130 Panzerlehr Division, 3rd Gerbigerde Division, 5th Gerby Jager Division, the Tiger Tank Battalions, then you have the plates and the final index, all in 48 pages. And it is a really good book. And these later newer publications, rather than reprints of the, the 1980s ones, what you find is these publications that came out in the 2000s, and um, the, the colour illustrations are much more sharper and much more detailed than the 1980s books that have been reprinted to death so what you tend to find is the newer the book i.e the newer print of the book not 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 a reprint of a 1980s one if the book has been a brand new printing in the 2000s then the pictures tend to be better than the early 1980s ones so I think come the 2000s they kind of appreciated that battle reenactors and military collectors were getting into the books as well because the 1980s books as I've said before they tend to be not very well detailed in terms of the line drawn and they tend to be more for for figure painters whereas these ones that came out in 2000 onwards the, the picture quality of the line drones is much more sharper and much better detail for the military people so you know do do give them a go but give the later ones a go rather than the early ones because something like something like the german airborne troops ones that were printed in the 1980s the pictures aren't very well suited towards reenactors and military people Whereas in these ones that were printed in 2000 onwards, the picture quality is much more sharper and much better detailed. So this is Osprey Men at Arms, German Army Elite Units, 1935. It's number 380 in the Osprey Men at Arms series. So we'll take a look through that one. So, German Army Elite Units, 39 to 45. The pictures in these later ones are really very, very finely detailed. As you can see from that.
I mean, you can even you can even make out the Navi campaign arm shield on that guy's arm. So it's probably the cheapest book on the German um, elite units to have all in one book I don't think you'd be able to get a cheaper book than that it really does cover quite a lot of elite regiments so I want to keep an eye out for Osprey Men at Arms number 380 German Army Elite Units 1939 to 1945 and as I say in these 2000 year onwards publications the picture quality of the drawings tend to be a lot more superior than the earlier 1980s ones.